shot. Up, oh, that is in, Murray with the win! A room to run. Welcome here to Dixon High School. We are here for the Bulldogs and the Tigers of St. James. Game an early start due to some weather issues going on. St. James with the basket. That is good. Tigers on the board first. And St. James comes away with the ball. And I'm assuming this is a jump ball. Aiden Boone to start the scoring off here for the Tigers. And Mirror with the foul for the Tigers. Ball heading back the other direction now. Tigers inside, shot up, it is good. Sheldon with the first points for the Bulldogs on that. Ball heading the other direction here, a very loud gym going on. Pretty good crowd for the game next week. We do have a Dixon girls game scheduled to broadcast, however, we will see what the weather does for that as it's not looking like it wants to cooperate. Driving shot, no good. Offensive rebound, can't get the basket. McBride in there and I believe Sendon came away with it. That is Sendon. Can't get the basket though for Sendon here. Boone brings the ball down court. Foul on Young. Young's first. First foul. Each team has one. Ball is stolen. Drew Young with the basket. Bulldogs on top by two now. First lead for Dixon. Tigers came out with the two-point lead. Then game was tied up. Back to the Bulldogs. We have... Bride came up a little bit rough on that. Looks like he's all right. Whistle on... Take Groover a sophomore here. Young will inbound. Three point shot. That is up. That is good. Kramer with the three. Tigers cross court pass. That is stolen. Five point lead. Bucket up. No good. Whistle, I believe this is on the Bulldogs on the way back. That's on McBride. Nope, Dominic Sheldon. We're going to take a timeout. We'll be back after this from our sponsors. It's out of the timeout. And St. James basketball, they're going to spread the floor, it looks like. Dixon with the steal. Young with the bucket. That is good. 9-2, seven-point lead for the Bulldogs. This is stolen. Young again, part of the play. Foul on the Tigers. This will be Gleason. Sophomore, his first. That's a third team foul, but a lot of sophomores playing for the Tigers. 
They do have several seniors, though, also, but right now the sophomores are coming out. Some bad passes really causing these turnovers here. Dixon, a team you can't give the ball to. Inbound, Tommy McBride with the two points off the inbounds again. Second two points in a similar fashion. No one there for the Tigers. 11 to 2. Nearly halfway through the quarter. Or Bulldogs up with the big lead right now. Dixon in the white, St. James in the red. Young kicks it out. Basket is blocked. We're going to have a whistle on that. With his first fourth team foul. Bonus for the Bulldogs now fought for the rest of the quarter. Free throw up. No good by Sendon. Have some new games added for our semi-pro football schedule. That will be the Missouri Swarm up in St. Joe, Missouri. We'll be broadcasting two of their ball games along with our football schedule this spring. That'll make it 17 games. Schedule quickly filling up with that. Three-point shot for the Tigers is good. Groover with the three. First point since early in the quarter, since they opened the quarter. Kramer playing point with Young. Kramer with the shot. We're going to have a jump ball. And ball will head back to the Tigers. That will... Not be a turnover. Guess there'll be a lost rebound. And Kramer with the foul. It's Kramer or it is Kramer. Third team foul for Dixon. Tigers cross midcourt. Give and go. Basket is up. It is good. So Aiden Boone, that is his fourth point of the ball game. Ball is up. McBride with the basket. Case Sendon will pick up the foul. His first. Both teams now in the bonus for everything that's not an offensive foul. Ball tipped out, and someone has... Oh, never mind. It is fixed. Ball causing some slight damage down there, I guess we'll say.
from the corner. The Bulldogs trying to. This is tipped. Still St. James ball. Last touched by Dixon. 54 views of the game tonight. Not terrible for an early game. Had half a JV or half a freshman scheduled in. JV was shortened to two and the varsity due to weather. St. James up. That is good. Perkins with that last basket for the Tigers. Dixon can't get the little spin around jumper. As long as your pivot foot doesn't move, it can rotate. You just cannot drag, basically. One of the videos that was watched. Fried, that is good. 16-11 now. Dixon still on top. About a minute to go in this ball game. Tigers, Boone, pass to the corner, baseline drive. Again, kick back out. Three-point shot up. No good. Into the hands of Kramer. Kramer heading down under a minute to go. Three-point shot that is short. Rebound, Groover. Boone with the basket, blocking foul. Basket is good, I believe. Yep, basket is good. So Boone will have a free throw coming out of this. Yoakum also into the ball game. And uh, Kerr. Kerr also in the ball game for the Tigers. Dixon McBride with the tip. That is good. McBride again with the ball into traffic. That is blocked. Still Dixon basketball underneath. Ride stripped away, ball back to the Tigers, five-point ball game. Boone with the pass, basket good. Clock running down, three-point shot up, not there, can't get the put back. We're going to go into the break. It is three-point game, Dixon on top. So Dixon coming out with the ball first. Sinden playing point to start the second quarter. Burns also playing point. Foul also underneath. Basket is good. That foul on Josh Earls, I believe. Nope, it's on Mirror. So he is going to pick up his second. Free throw, no good. Send in with that last basket. And other scores from the area. Lebanon, 30-point lead right now in the third quarter over Hillcrest. That game, courtesy of the... Jacket Nation Sports there out of Lebanon.
and McBride heading into the ball game for the Bulldogs. So Boone will be playing point for St. James at the moment here. Three points shot up, no good. Ball is off Dixon. Is good. Drew Young with the bucket. Three point shot from the corner. No good. This is tipped. Is still Tiger basketball here. Mm. Underneath kicks the ball back out for two. That is no good. Offensive rebound, ball up, can't get that. McBride, ball is tipped away. Boone with the drive, ball stolen from behind. Young heading the other direction with the drive to the basket. Can't connect on that. Offensive rebound, that basket is good. MJ Ford able to connect. Seven-point ball game, 24-17. Dixon on top, 5.30 to go in the half. Boone drive, can't get the basket, but we're going to have free throws coming. McBride with the foul. Ball is tipped still. Nope. Dixon will come away with it. St. James never gained control. Baseline drive. No good. In Dixon, no one there. That is tipped, I believe, as the ball came up. Boone with the basket. We're going to take a timeout. We'll be back after this. Dixon timeout. Out of the timeout, still Dixon basketball. Sendin brings the ball down court. Also Young out there. Two-point shot, no good. And we're going to have some contact down there. Burns went in for the shot. Still Dixon ball. with the inbound. Ball is stolen. Back to the corner. Young almost too short. Reverse back to Burns. Burns for three. That is no good. Rebound Tigers. Tigers basket. No good. Misses the layup. Dixon foul. Second shoot. 
Perkins first, second team foul of the second quarter here. Four point ball game. Drew Young with two. Second in, Maverick Yoko. First free throw looked good. Second attempt for Drew. Free throw is good. 26 20 now. Dixon up by six. Skips. Back out. Boone with the three. Three point shot off target. It's still St. James basketball. Jump still St. James. St. James underneath. Ball is nearly tipped away, but Boone with the basket can't get it. McBride with the defense. Little spin move. Basket no good. 320 to go in the half. Foul on the way up. is a I would assume this is a shooting foul but it is not it's on the floor Heads to the line after that. Isaiah Carrer heads in for the Tigers. Once again, Tigers in the red, St. James in the white. The gym getting me very loud here, so if I kind of fade behind the noise, that is why. Boone brings the ball down court, tries to dump the pass underneath, can't do it. Send in lob, basket good. McBride with the catch there in transition. Three point shot up. That is good. Tate Groover, the sophomore with the bucket. Six point ball game. Dixon foul. Basket is good. So John Kramer, a 5'11 sophomore, able to drive in there, pick up the contact, and get the basket to fall. Third foul for Groover. And substitution coming into the game. Looks like Trip Jones, a freshman, will head in to probably replace him. Free throw was good. St. James underneath. Can't get it. That is blocked from behind. And then on point with the drive. Can't get the shot. Offensive rebound. The second offensive rebound. We have a timeout. Maverick Yoakum with the ball. We'll take a look before we head into that. This is from earlier here. And we'll be back after this break. Back here in the ball game. 
St. James out of the timeout. They have three remaining. I had to look. Boone trying to get the ball. That is saved, but Drew Young's going to come away with it for the two points. Just like that, we have a 36-23 ball game. 13 points now separate the two. Biggest of the game. Dixon with possession of the jump ball. is inbounding at half court. A minute to go in the half. Three point shot, no good. Offensive rebound, can't get the rebound. Tigers underneath. Boone for three, that is short. Sorry, I'm doing some research while the game's going on here, but. Send in with another bucket here, and looks like Dixon with a 15 point lead going into the break. We're gonna pick up a foul. Yep. So James, first free throw good, made this a 14 point difference. Chance to make it 15, that is also good. Three-point shot up, no good. And we're going to go into the break. We'll be back after the half. Dixon on top by 13. And back second half here in the third quarter. Tigers with the tip. Came out a little bit early on that. Still Tiger basketball. Dixon... Trying to get to the steal, but can't at the moment. Again, tipped out by Dixon. Be out on the Tigers. Dixon will get the ball for the first time this half. Bulldogs in transition. They're going to pass. Can't get that. Young again. Second shot by Young. No good. Jump ball. Possession. Dixon. So Dixon will get the ball back either way. Three-point shot from the corner, no good. Offensive rebound, McBride. Basket off target, Kramer. From the corner, baseline Young. This time the basket's good. About five attempts, but this time Bulldogs come away with a score, 15-point difference.
Three point shot off target. Ball, two point shot up. It is no good. Two weeks from now, we'll have the St. James Tournament. We'll be bringing you coverage of that. Waynesville Tigers. Also, possibly, Stillville Cardinals in that. We'll maybe give you some coverage of them and the Rolla Bulldogs during that tournament. And who knows, you might have a couple other teams. Dixon taking their time. Kicks it out for the three. Instead, Young for the three-point shot himself. Not there. Rebound, Tigers. Opposite end. Ball. Kicked across. No shots so far. And Dixon's going to come away with this. Drew Young is going to come up with the basket. Not quite what he was looking for. Just happened to get the ball. Bobbled on the defense. Ran away with it. Tigers inside drive. That is good. Perkins this time with the bucket. A lot of younger kids on the team. And ball is blocked. Offensive rebound foul. McBride will head to the line. This will be the first foul of the quarter. Perkins with two fouls. McBride will have two shots coming off of this. Chance to extend this lead. First free throw, no good. Free throw up, that is good. Five minutes to go in the third quarter. Still Tiger basketball. Looking at the schedules here of the Bulldogs, first of all. That is stolen away. Drew Young again with the basket. That is 17 points for Young in the ball game. Three-point shot for the Tigers. That is a couple bounces off target, though. Still Tiger basketball. Three-point shot again time a little closer Dixon comes away with that Yoakum with the rebound good effort by Cooper Mundo but couldn't get the bounce he wanted on that so coming up it is the girls will face Iberia that game will be on the road that'll be on Monday wait 
And then on the ninth, the boys will be on the road at Bell. And the girls will be at home against Maranatha. I could swear that game was on the road, too. But that's what the schedule says here. I have to clarify that. We may have an opportunity to do that game. Who knows? But we'll see what goes on. And then on the 11th, the girls will be at home against Green, or Green Ridge. And the boys will be at home on the 12th against St. Elizabeth. And then the Iberia Tournament will be the same week of the St. James Tournament. So nearly a 20-point ball game now. 18 points separate the two. Three oh nine in the third. Young passing back to Sinden. Sinden can't get the three. Instead, he's going to drive for it, draw the contact, and pick up the foul. Basket is good. 20-point game now. Boone's second foul, second team foul. Camden Burns heading into the game. Three-point shot, drive in instead. That is good. Groover with the shot. Timeout. We're going to take a break. We'll be back after this timeout. For the St. James Tigers, they will host Cuba in their next ball game on the 9th. Kick ball. This is still Dixon basketball. Then they will travel to Stillville. And then they'll have the St. James tournament, their host, their home tournament. That is the 15th to the 20th. Then they will be in the Herman basketball tournament. So two tournaments in two weeks. Three-point shot, no good. Ball is lobbed into the hands of the Tigers. Tigers baseline drive, can't get the shot. Offensive rebound block. That is McBride with the block. Ball heading the other way. And then they will travel to Newburgh, Pacific, and Sullivan. And then Herman. So St. James will go from January 9th to February 13th without a home game on the boys' side. And then they will have Owensville. I'm assuming one of them is homecoming, one is senior night when they come back. On the girls' side of the Tigers... They are 10-1 and one in state ranked right now. Their only loss is to Helias Catholic, which is, I guess, a football term that a lot of them use for football seeding. A, we'll say a quality loss. But they will have the California tournament, and I think the girls are having a St. James tournament that week now, too. I did not know that, but it says here they have a St. James tournament the same week as the boys. Then they will travel to Union, then they'll face a host Fair Grove. Then they will host state-ranked Licking, who also has one loss. Then they will travel to Pacific, Sullivan, and Herman in a row before hosting St. Clair, Owensville, and Camdenton. Our next scheduled broadcast is Tuesday at Glendale. However, 
probably not, well, with the weather, probably not going to happen. Then it will be Dixon against Green Ridge here at Dixon High School. That game will be turned into some other game. We possibly have a coming up Newburgh and Crocker matchup in Crocker. So Drew Young, he's going to pick up his second. Third team foul for the Bulldogs. Inbounding is the Tigers. Back to Boone. Under one minute to go. My uh, scoreboard freaks out when it's under one minute, so it's having a moment. Dixon, drive in with the runner. Can't get the shot. Rebound, I believe that is Groover. It is Groover. Groover with the turnover. That is blocked on the way up. Clock running down, nine seconds to go. Tiger basketball still. Three point shots up, that is off target. 1.6 seconds to go. Ball tipped. And no good out of bounds. And I believe they, they did not switch the possession arrow. Final eight minutes to go in this ball game. Tigers with the steal. Ball is... It's Camden Burns with the foul. This first. Boone able to connect on that. Cuts this to a 15-point ball game. Tigers spreading the floor. We're going to have a... What are we have going on here? Okay. Clock adjustment there. McBride can't get the basket. Dixon crashing on the boards. Tigers come away with it.
Three-point shot, no good. Ball tipped, this is off of the Tigers. This will be a turnover back to Dixon. Seven minutes now remain in the game. Three-point shot from the corner. Burns, that is good. Camden Burns. I was going to tell you how many points he had, but he has the ball once again. I believe but maybe he's only three points. I can't see the board very well. Foul on the shot. McBride heading to the line. Free throw, no good. Second free throw, that is good. 52-33. Six thirty now remains in the ball game. Tigers cut, tries to well they'll kick it right back outside of the corner. Baseline drive. Three point shot for three. That is up off target. Offensive rebound, twenty one. Foul on the floor. So Burns his second foul. Second team foul. Drive, whistle, not there. Ball going the other direction. Running shot is good. Burns with the bucket. That free throw is good for Groover. 12th point in this ball game for him. 17 point game once again, just hovering back and forth at that number. Trip Jones heading into the ball game for the Tigers. Three from the corner. That is good for Drew Young. Ball tipped back and three point shot up. No good. Offensive rebound though. From the corner. Baseline drive instead. Kicks it back out to the top. Basket up. That is good. Kramer with the basket. 22 points now in the ball game for a 22 point lead for the Bulldogs. Boone playing point. Cuts to the inside. Kicks it out for three. That is up. That is good. Carrier with the three. Lead back to 19. Dixon taking their time here. 
Kicks it out to the corner again. Three, no good. That is short. Offensive rebound, McBride. McBride up. Basket good. 14 points for McBride in the ball game. And Groover again with another bucket. 14 for him now in the game. Approaching three minutes left. Dixon should come away with a victory. Foul on the shot. We're going to have free throws. Pairs first. Lead back to 20. One and two on the free throw line there. And thank you for watching. Want to thank the Dixon Booster Club, Dixon School District, Gan Johnson Insurance, Home Plate Grill, and anyone else that I might have missed from Dixon that helps to sponsor these games. If you'd like to sponsor, give me a send me a message or give me a call. Or send email to alanhillardsports at gmail.com. Also, big thanks to Security Bank for being one of our main sponsors here, along with the Dixon School District, for all of our coverage. Shooter heads into the ball game for the Bulldogs. Ball blocked. Back to the Tigers. Tigers jump stop. That is blocked. Ball heading the other way. Burns with the block. Ball picked off. Foul and the basket. And Groover will head to the line. Burns will pick up his third. Back here, I believe everything is correct. A little technology issue. The free throw is good. Two minutes to go in the ball game. Tires kick the ball back out. It's saved by the Tigers on that. Looking for three. That is up. That is no good. Ball heading the other direction. Maverick Yoakum with that rebound. Sinden brings the ball down. Basketball. 
Dixon will come away with a victory here. Three-point shot. That is good. MJ Ford with the basket. 66 points now for the Bulldogs. Ford's first points of the game. Three-point shot is short. Clock winding down. Ten seconds to go. And with that, the Dixon Bulldogs will come away with a victory here. Thank you for joining us. It has been a pleasure. We will see you next week, providing the weather doesn't want to be uncooperative. Have a good night. We will see you later. Shot up. That is in. Burn out the wind. Run. Henry is...